Hey everybody, Ultra Director Jester here. 2019 is over and 2020 is here! A new collective era warmly opens itself onto us, full of potential, change, and renewed vigor. A chance to start fresh and look to the future with a hopeful gaze, but with fierce spirits. Yes, the start of a brand new decade is always exciting to experience. And if we're lucky, we all may live to see the end of it, too. Well, anyway, let's take a brief look at the year ahead for the UDJ, man. We've got some things to talk about, some new projects to reveal, and even a few completely new things, so have a listen, would you? Okay, first off, let's talk about what's going on my channel right now. At the moment, there are three projects happening concurrently. Sonic Forces with Aniskel on Mondays and Wednesdays, Minecraft Story Mode with Violet on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Sakura Wars So Long My Love also with Niskel Friday through Sunday. These have been updating regularly over the past three weeks. I've been working overtime to get a lot of these old projects completed so we can get to the new stuff I'm going to talk about today. So if you missed out on any of these series or have been waiting for them for a while, there's plenty to check out now. Now, let's talk about new stuff. After Sakura Wars ends, it's time I try another solo LP. Not another 80-hour RPG that feeds off the despair it trudges upon me, but something a little, well, easier. But something still challenging. Something more straightforward. Something not as obtuse. Something different. Something like... Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. And I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Prince of Persia HD Trilogy. I played, like, 30% of Santa Time over 15 years ago, and the stupid 2003 UDJ certainly couldn't beat it. Maybe the stupid 2020 UDJ can beat all three of them, who knows? So, the week after Sakura Wars ends, Prince of Persia The Sands of Time will begin, followed by Warrior Within and The Two Thrones. And I've heard a lot of unflattering stories about you, Warrior Within. You've been hanging out with that Devil May Cry 2 lad too much. So, again, after Sakura Wars V, Marchish maybe, Prince of Persia 1 through 3 on PS3, just me. Next, Sonic Forces is ending in a couple of weeks. I was gonna think about getting the Platinum Trophy, but I thought that it would get very repetitive quickly, so we'll save the rest for, like, Twitch or something. Which I do have, UD Jester, shoot me a follow! But after Forces, we need another classic UDJ in the Niskel Co-op Let's Play in its place. But what? Well, a couple of days ago, I put out a context-free poll on my Twitter, which I'm always usually on, shoot me a follow. I couldn't decide between three projects I really wanted to do, and instead of starting all three, I decided to confuse people for my own amusement. And amused as I was, a clear winner was decided. So, the next co-op LP is... Kirby's Star Allies! When the Switch first came out, I was skeptical. Hmm, I already have Breath of the Wild for Wii U, so I'll hold out until a must-have game appears before me. And this was that sole game that convinced me to buy a Switch. Aside from Smash, Fire Emblem, Animal Crossing, Metroid, and Breath of the Wild. And then I've thoroughly chewed through the game, and the devs have dumped all the free DLC into it already, it's time to bring it to the channel! This game, I've decided, is going to be played much like the Return to Dreamland LP. Live Couch Co-op. This one's gonna be fun! We're gonna go places! Now, what about Minecraft Story Mode? Well, that's still gonna go on for a little while. A second season is gonna be included in the project, so that's got some time left. Most of the episodes have been already recorded, and updates should be steady in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, I've got a special project I'm working on. My Twitch is neglected. Yeah, you probably checked my Twitch and saw it's a fucking ghost town, right? Well, 2020 is the year I actually start streaming, and not just say I'll do it and never end up doing it. Because this time, I'll be streaming a full game as the project. This time, I've got a new series that I really want to tackle into, and I hope you'll join me in... Yakuza Zero! 
Two Halloweens ago, I tried to LP Yakuza Dead Souls with Violet for a month-long Halloween special, but Sega, I presume, at least, immediately blocked all of it worldwide. I put a damper on any future LP prospects, but there's still hope with Twitch. Which I know this is where people mostly play the Yakuza series anyway. So, once a schedule has been set up and once the kinks have been worked out, Yakuza Zero will air on Twitch and full VODs and compilations will be added to the channel afterward. Again, follow my Twitter if you want better updates as to when streaming will start, drop me a follow. But you can also check out the oft-referenced official UDJ and the Niskel Discord server. Niskel, Violet, and I are typically active there all the time, we've got a fun little community growing, and if there's any stream announcements from my or Niskel's end, that would be a particularly reliable place to hear them. Link is in the description, but that invite will not last long. Well, this uh, hasn't been as brief as I wanted, but I actually have one more thing I want to show off. While we're on the subject of Twitch, I've got another little side project that I'm doing. This time it's not an LP. <laughs> Speedrunning Okami HD. One day I decided that I was sick of being envious of all the many talented and well-read speedrunners at the biannual Games Done Quick Charity streams, and figured I have to at least be able to speedrun one game in my life. Just have one under my belt. And I chose my absolute favorite game, Okami, as my first game foolish oaf that I am. So, every other Friday, starting on February 7th, I'll be doing a new game any percent speedrun of Okami HD and putting it up on Twitch first and the channel afterwards. I am a total beginner, I don't even like time trials in casual games, and I miss out on a lot of advanced tricks right now, but that's why I want to stream it. Every two weeks for practice, and one day get good enough to go for those advanced tricks. World record is certainly not within my sights, but it's just the fresh new thing I need to kick off the new decade for the channel. Best case scenario, I end up on the GDQ stage and bring in a zillion dollars to cancel research. Worst case scenario, I have a single game that I can zip through in my spare time to show my respect for the speedrunning community at large. Again, hop on the Discord or follow me on Twitter for stream announcements. Alright, alright, I've kept you here long enough. Thanks so much for watching this video, thanks for checking out my channel, thanks to all my subscribers past, present, and future, and thank you for letting me do what I love doing. Playing video games and making people laugh. Peace all.